are in Dubrovnik today and uh, from what I can see just looking out the boat here it looks very very pretty so apparently every building with an orange roof is a building that was repaired after the war and as I look out every building I look at it seems like every building I can see has an orange roof so from what I understand and the little bit that I've read about Dubrovnik it seems like that Dubrovnik was heavily damaged uh, during the war so we're gonna go out and explore see what we can find taking the sights we've got a, a nice long day here so Dubrovnik. 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 So the bus just dropped us off here in the, uh, the center of the old city. And we just walked straight out here to the uh, see what was what kind of view you'd have here from. Isn't that incredible? Wow. Here we are in Dubrovnik. There's the uh, the wall of the old city. We just stepped outside the wall. What well, looks to be their marina here. There's lots of boats offering tours. We were thinking about going on one, but our time is limited, so I think we might pass. It just seems like there's so much to see and such a great city for walking. So we're going to keep walking and exploring the city. So the seafood restaurant we're about to go to is just outside the wall here of the uh, city, the old city in Dubrovnik. And it's right on the marina. You can see obviously the mayor, the marina there in the background and the uh, umbrellas here for the restaurant. So we're gonna go in and give it a shot because we've heard that it's uh, very good uh, seafood and it seems to be very reasonably priced. So I'm gonna go give it a shot. So here we are in Dubrovnik. And of course, Eric always wants to try the local cuisine. So we stopped here at this restaurant along the uh, harbor here. Got ourselves a local beer. So I guess apparently the local beer is favorite. Never heard of it, but it's pretty good. And uh, Erica ordered the mussels, so we're waiting for that. We really enjoyed our day walking around the old city. And then we're going to head back to the cruise ship after this, so it's been a great day. You know, with limited time in Dubrovnik, I would definitely suggest that if you do make it here and you're on a cruise, uh, just pay the uh, 10 euros and walk the city. You can walk all the walls along the ocean. It's really just unbelievable views. And if you don't even want to pay for that, you can just walk through the uh, 
inside of the city and just find some great little spots and places to eat and cool little restaurants and really neat little alleyways so it's been a lot of fun. What's the name of this place? Canoba? Yeah, so here we are and we just ordered the uh, shrimp and the mussels. What do you think? It was great. You certainly ate it like it was great. <laughs> you finish it right off. That's Erica's waist. There's my waist. <laughs> I had like seven shrimps. Erica had like 47 mussels. <laughs> you liked it? Does it look like I liked it? Yeah, it was good. Definitely recommend. It was really fresh seafood. It didn't have a lot of like spices, but it was just fresh, so I enjoyed it. And my beer was like great. So we're finishing up our day here in Dubrovnik. We're down here on the main street, and if you remember earlier, we were up there on the uh, on the wall at the top. We did the whole. We walked the whole entire wall all the way around the uh, the old city here. And, uh, and we're just finishing up. Eric is buying a few little souvenirs. And we just, I just walked past the street and it was really caught my attention. This little alleyway down here. I don't know if it's going to get very good light, but you can see how that just goes up and up and up. It's fairly steep all the way to the top. So. We went to Croatia today and we were running out. Erica has been drinking like a like a horse over here, right? All week she's been drinking the booze. Me? Yeah, you've drank all your liquor. I bought a bottle of rum. She brought a bottle of whiskey. Her whiskey was completely gone last night. So what do you do? You're in a tough situation. You want to sneak some liquor back on the cruise ship. You don't want to pay those ridiculous prices. I mean, we're, we're still buying plenty of drinks, but still it adds up. So what you do is get yourself a trusty little pair of binoculars like this, right? But not just any ordinary binoculars. Binoculars that have eight ounces of liquor or any type of fluid on each side. So that's what we did. We went into town today. We found ourselves a uh, little liquor store and we bought a bottle of Red Label. Filled it up, and voila. voila Nobody even it. notices. You're back on the cruise ship, restocked, ready to go. So, in the bottom of this video, I'll put a little link of where I bought these. I, I got them on Amazon.com. I think they were like $9, and uh, definitely, definitely worth it. We're going to freshen up and go out and have another great night. Right, Erica? Yeah, we got to go to a forest shoot. Right, Erica? Yes. You gonna have fun? Yes. Right? Yes. Yeah. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Mm.